Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Celebs. In today's video, we'll discuss crazy moments on Hell's Kitchen when contestants cried. Let's get into it. Ramsey called one of the contestants a plank. Anyone who has seen Ramsey in action on his myriad of reality series, from Master Chef to Kitchen Nightmares, will know that he isn't one to hold back his opinions. Every contender by now must undoubtedly be aware of this, which is why being on the receiving end of one of his spectacular reprimands must be the worst nightmare they could ever imagine. Unfortunately, Hell's Kitchen would not be nearly as successful as it is today if the presenter were a soft-spoken beacon of positivism who encouraged everyone as much as possible on a regular basis. It is not for this reason that fans tune in to witness Ramsey rip into the terrified faces of individuals who are attempting to impress him. In the first episode of the series, you had better believe he didn't hold anything back at all. The episode saw Ramsey standing in front of covered dishes that had been prepared by each of the participants. He exposed each dish one at a time, summoned the competitor who had prepared it to the table, and delivered a brutally honest assessment of their efforts. A nasty Ramsey remark was delivered almost quickly to a participant. An executive chef by the name of Chris, when he approached the table to see how his cedar plank cooked fish was faring. The presenter was dissatisfied after hearing Chris's description of the situation. According to Ramsey, I think you're a plank. Plank means an idiot. Immediately following the dismantling of the salmon meal, Ramsey directed Chris to be a good plank and get back in line. Ouch. Possibly one of the worst meals to come out of Hell's Kitchen. This was a sloppy mess. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on these awkward moments in the comment section. One Hell's Kitchen chef left the row on scallops. No one can dispute the difficulty of impressing a chef with a long list of Michelin stars on his or her credentials. However, when the time comes to take a swig at that symbolic pitch, you must do all in your power to send it as far as possible into the outfield before the game is called off. Even while it's difficult to cover every single nook and corner in a hectic kitchen, let alone in a reality television show set, the fundamentals must be done effectively in order to avoid incurring Ramsey's anger. The awkwardness of the situation was swiftly discovered by one of the contestants, Michael, who realized he had entirely overlooked something quite essential about his scallop dish. When Ramsey removed the metal cover from the dish, Michael approached the table with a trembling step. The presenter pierced the scallop with his fork and put it out in front of the competitor, who realized very immediately that he had made a huge blunder. After becoming perplexed by what he was witnessing, Ramsey inquired of Michael, What is that? To which the candidate answered sheepishly, The roe, sir. Scallops are traditionally served with roe or eggs removed before serving, as everyone who enjoys scallops knows. In order to keep Michael from eating the roe, Ramsey coerced him into doing so, despite the fact that the competitor stated that he did not believe it's that bad. Ramsey quickly responded by telling Michael that he has plate of a cow's backside. Hell's Kitchen's contestants argued about kitchen efficiency. When you put a group of random individuals together for a reality television show program, the casting directors know precisely who they want on the show from the beginning. Given that the drama sells, and the personalities of those chosen will almost certainly conflict during the duration of the show. Fighters attract viewers, and while it is unfortunate that individuals must engage in physical altercation on television, it is somewhat in keeping with the purpose of reality television, at least if you are being completely honest with yourself. In the same way, the candidates picked for Hell's Kitchen have regularly found themselves at conflict with one another over their culinary plan. Things became heated rapidly at a lunch table team discussion after Chris, an executive chef, ripped into a fellow participant Jeff about kitchen efficiency during one of the meetings. When it comes to restaurant service, efficiency is the name of the game, as Ramsey frequently and emphatically reminds everyone in the room. Chefs who are little more than a hindrance to productivity do not go unnoticed by their peers. Chris, evidently agitated by Ramsey's reaction to his team's culinary performance, proceeded to vent, with Jeff being singled out as the root of the problem. Ramsey was clearly not amused. What do you have on my ass today? Jeff inquired of Chris, 
Then, out of frustration, he rose up from his seat and Chris pleaded with Jeff to hold his position until he finished his sentence. Obviously, Jeff did not agree with Chris's point of view and stormed out of the room, leaving Chris and the rest of the team to sit around the table in awkward silence for the duration of the meeting. What do you think about these moments? Did you know they cried? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell so you definitely won't miss any of our future videos. And watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. Enjoy your day and I'll see you all in the next video.